everyone and welcome! In this video we're going to be talking about the Mercedes F1 engine and basically how they've been so dominant in the 2014 season with their engine. Now if you haven't already checked my video out on the 2014 F1 engine you may want to check that out first as it explains the ERS system in some detail. So looking at this basically what we've got going on is here on the left a uh, standard F1 engine this is basically like the Renault engine and then here on the right the Mercedes engine so I'm just going to talk about first what we're looking at uh, and then get into the detail of the differences and how those are advantageous for Mercedes so right here what we've got we'll just follow the intake air so we've got this intake coming in your air is going to pass down to the turbocharger at the rear uh, that intake air then passes through the intercooler goes from the intercooler into a intake manifold where it then passes into the six cylinder so this is a v6 engine of course after passing through the cylinders it will pass through the exhaust manifold out to the exhaust portion of the turbocharger and then out through a single exhaust pipe through the rear of the vehicle now you'll also notice this mguh which is the heat portion of the ers system as explained in my 2014 f1 engine video uh, and so what this is doing is recovering energy from the turbocharger and then sending that to a battery pack which can then be used later. So this is connected to the turbocharger via uh, some sort of shaft and that's basically what we've got going on with this Renault engine. Now, looking at the Mercedes engine and one thing I guess I should mention so that you kind of understand what this looks like. Uh, here's a side view so you've got this intake up top which is passing the air back to the inlet side of the turbocharger that passes to the intercooler then to the intake manifold which is on top of the engine and then below that kind of sandwiched in the V is that MGUH which is the energy recovery unit. So the Mercedes engine you can see a little bit more compact uh, and one of the things that they've done, one of the fundamental differences of their engine is that they've split the turbocharger. So the exhaust portion is at the rear, they've got a shaft which connects with the MGUH and then connects with the intake side of the turbocharger at the front of the engine. So one of the big advantages this gives is that you have less heat from this exhaust passing to the cold side of the uh, turbocharger. So by doing that, that means you're pulling in cooler air uh, and by pulling in cooler air you can make more power. Now an alternative to taking advantage of the fact that you've got colder air is the fact that you could use a smaller intercooler and by using a smaller intercooler you can have a more aerodynamic vehicle. More aerodynamic vehicle with less drag means it can accelerate faster and is a faster car overall. Uh, another difference uh, is the independent control of the MGUH. So because this is between these two shafts, it could theoretically independently control one or the other. So when you have, when you want to compensate for turbo lag, basically you can use this to spool up just the intake side, rather than on this one where if you want to compensate for turbo lag, you, can, you would have to spool up both sides. So in doing that, you're wasting some energy. This is doing it more efficiently, which means you've got more energy from ERS left over to use for accelerating the car. One of the things I haven't drawn in either of these pictures is the MGUK, which is uh, the kinetic energy recovery system, which basically is connected to the crankshaft and can directly accelerate the vehicle. So if you have more energy left over, you can send it to the MGUK and accelerate the vehicle. Uh, another thing is you've got these smaller, shorter exhaust pipes. And there are several benefits to this. Uh, the reason they use these longer pipes and basically even out the uh, exhaust pulses is to have a better effect on scavenging and maximize the amount of air and fuel that you get into the combustion chamber and minimize the amount of exhaust gases that are left over. That said, what Mercedes has done is kind of a little bit different approach. Uh, there's a couple benefits to this. Having a smaller exhaust, the packaging is smaller, so the vehicle is going to be more aerodynamic as you can make it smaller at the rear. The other thing is, having this shorter exhaust and they also heat wrap it, that means the air temperature of this exhaust won't decrease that much by the time it gets to here, whereas with this where it's got more time to cool. And so as that hot air cools, the pressure of it drops and it's less effective. So the higher the pressure you have at, as an exhaust gas, the more boost you can create because you're using more of that pressure to spin the exhaust portion of the turbocharger. More boost. Uh, you also have less weight with this smaller exhaust and overall it's just going to be quicker assuming that uh, it outweighs the negative effect that you know the other style uses which it maximizes the amount of air and fuel in the engine. Uh, the other thing they've done 
basically by having this inlet portion of the turbocharger up towards the front rather than at the back is you significantly decrease the amount of piping that the intake air has to travel through. So instead of traveling all the way back to the back of the engine, then back up to an intercooler, and then back up towards the front and then into the intake manifold, it simply passes in right at the front into the intercooler and then right directly into the intake manifold. So shorter piping means less turbo lag. And you're thinking, okay, well, the ERS system can compensate for turbo lag. And you're absolutely correct. But in this case, it doesn't have to compensate as much, which means it can use that leftover energy for the ERS system to accelerate the vehicle rather than uh, improving its turbo lag. So overall, all of these different changes that they made uh, impact the car and make it just that much quicker, giving them an advantage, and it certainly showed in the 2014 season. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.